Welcome to my ChatGPT tutorial for beginners. I will show you how to use ChatGPT in 19 different ways to create content for your websites, to write scripts for your YouTube videos, and even to write music. First of all, let's talk about how to sign up for ChatGPT. So type in ChatGPT into Google, click enter, open this first result, and you will land on the OpenAI website and there will be uh, an option here that says try chat GPT. So click that, that will open a link where you can either log in or sign up to chat GPT. So click sign up, under create your account, enter your email, click continue, then enter your password and click continue. You'll get a message to verify your email. So go and click the link in the email to verify your account. Once you are logged into your chat GPT dashboard, you will see an interface that currently looks like this. And on the left hand side, we've got a few different options in the bottom left you can see there is an option to switch between dark mode and light mode depending on what you are most used to there is also a link to go to openai discord channel there is a link for updates and faq and other types of help in the top left you've got an option to start a new chat which is basically how you interact with chat gpt we're going to get to get to that in just a second and the most important part of ChatGPT is here at the bottom of the screen. This is where you can type in commands to actually interact with ChatGPT. Okay, so let's go through a basic workflow example with ChatGPT. So you need to give it a command in the bottom of the screen and it can be as simple as tell me a joke about beer. So let's press enter. And there you go. Now on the left hand side over here, we've got a new chat thread created. And now ChatGPT has told us a joke. Why did the beer go to the therapist? Because it needed to deal with its alcohol issues. Now you can press this button to regenerate response and ChatGPT will try again to give you another joke, regenerate response. And it's just reworded this same joke in a different way. Why did the beer go to therapy? Because it needed to learn to handle its alcohol. This is where you can start interacting with ChatGPT in the bottom of the screen and you can tell it to fine tune its response or to continue the conversation. Now here at the bottom, for example, I can say, make it longer. Okay, and it will rephrase this joke or whatever the response was, and it will just make it a little bit longer. Okay, and here we go. This is the response. ChatGPT has made its own joke longer. And basically you've got the history of all the interactions saved in this thread. Now, if we start a new chat on the left-hand side, and we say something like, explain me the law of gravity, and then I press enter. Okay, so we've got this new thread here on the left for law of gravity explained, and we've still got the old thread, be a joke told, and I can switch between those two. You can have multiple chat threads going at the same time, and each of them has got its own history, which is very convenient. So the first way to use ChatGPT is to get it to write content. It can be web content, blog content, article content, book content, video content. It doesn't matter, ChatGPT can do all of it. So you can give it a command such as write me a 1000 word blog post about how to improve your sleep. Press enter and ChatGPT will go to work and it will write you a 1000 word blog post on this topic. And just like this, we've got a really high quality article about how to improve your sleep. If you have a quick skim through this, you'll actually notice that it's well researched and very well articulated. You can experiment and see what types of content ChatGPT can write. For example, it can also write an about page for my accounting firm website. You will see that it's going to write a pretty good about page for your accounting firm website. Okay, so the second thing you can do with ChatGPT is you can get it to change the length of the content that it has produced. And this command that I'm going to show you works for any type of content. As long as you've got some output out of ChatGPT, you can give this command. So we've now got this 1000 word blog post about how to improve your sleep. So we can take this output and we can tell ChatGPT to make it shorter and I can say shorten to 250 words and it will summarize it and make it shorter. All right, and now we've got a shorter version of this same article. Next thing I want to show you is how ChatGPT can either rephrase your content in a particular style, or you can actually ask ChatGPT to write the piece of content in that style from the very beginning. I can tell ChatGPT to rephrase it in any style. So I can write something like rephrase in a style of a teenager or rephrase in a style of a comedian. It doesn't matter. ChatGPT is actually going to do this for you. So uh, I'm going to write rephrase in a style of a teenager, press enter, and now you'll see it'll start to 
rephrase it using sort of typical teenager style words. Yo, what's up? Welcome to ABC Accounting, where we're all about helping you take control of your finances. We're a team of cool accountants who are here to provide you. So you can see it's now starting to use this teenager style. I can tell it to rephrase it in a style of a crazy person. All right, and you can see it's doing that. Greetings, earthlings. Welcome to the wild and wacky world of ABC Accounting. We're a group of certifiably insane accountants. So basically, you can have fun with it. Just try out what it can do. You can give it certain names of certain styles and even names of particular people. and it will do its best to rephrase it in that style. Next thing I want to show you is how you can write video scripts with ChatGPT and that includes YouTube video scripts. So let's give it a command, write me a YouTube video script for a five minute video about benefits of planking and ChatGPT will go to work and it'll start writing you a video script. And we've got a full video script ready. It even includes the prompts for where the music and video montage should go, where the voiceover from the host is, where there are inserts for animated graphics, etc. And you can, of course, then ask ChatGPT to fine tune it in any way, make it shorter, longer, make it in a different style. You can also tell it to write scripts for your YouTube shorts. For example, I'm gonna put in, write me a script for YouTube short, one minute video about what you can do with ChatGPT. And it will create a one minute script that you can use for YouTube shorts videos. And there we go. We've got a perfect script for a YouTube shorts video about this topic. By the way, if you guys are interested in YouTube, I have a YouTube course which will teach you all the steps necessary to start and grow your own YouTube channel from zero, even without showing your face. We've got various modules there, all the way from module one intro to covering equipment, niche selection, channel setup, uh, all the way through to how to utilize YouTube Shorts and how to get your first 1000 subscribers. All the modules are in extreme step-by-step -step detail covering every single thing that you need to do to grow your channel. To get access to it, you can just go to contentdo.com or click the links in the description or in comments below. And on this page, enter your name and email. Just for entering your name and email, I'm gonna send you access to a free affiliate marketing training. But then on the next page, you can actually see and join the Jet Video Academy course. The course comes with a mastermind group. We've got currently 697 members where we basically help one-on-one -on -one with all coaching and mentoring that you need. We're in there every day helping all the members personally and you can see a lot of people are getting results. For example, here is a post from one of our members who's just been accepted into the YouTube Partner Program and is earning money with ads. Next, I want to show you how you can create outlines for basically anything using ChatGPT. So I'm gonna give it a prompt to write me an outline for a blog article about how to learn piano. Let's click enter and you will see that now it's starting to write an outline for you, which is really, really helpful at the stage where you are trying to come up with ideas of what to include in your content piece. Here it is, honestly, I'm impressed because this is a good high quality outline and very, very useful. Of course, it's not limited to just blog articles. We can also ask it to write your outlines for your uni papers or for school papers. Here we go, write me an outline for a fifth grade paper about why history is important. And it's done a decently good job, I think. Next, I wanna show you how to use ChatGPT to generate funny titles and captions. I can give it a command such as this, generate five captions for a funny photo of my child eating watermelon and Let's see what it does. Here we go, we've got five captions ideas. When you love watermelon more than anything in the world. Pretty good. Juicy, juicy, can't resist. It's my only true love. Not so bad. The only diet my child is on, all the watermelon all the time. I mean, they're all pretty decent ideas for captions for a photo. We can also add some modifiers. So let's give it a command to generate 10 funny titles for my blog post about three ways to lose weight. And we've got 10 ideas for our blog post, which are a little bit more lighthearted. And you can certainly just click regenerate response and it will write 10 more for you. And you can continue doing that until you find something that perhaps gives you a good idea or you can just use the way that ChatGPT has suggested. It. This is not a bad one. Thin Spiration, a guide to giggle inducing weight loss. Not bad at all. Next, I want to show you how to generate ideas for anything in the world. You can type in generate ideas and we can even say generate ideas for my honeymoon. And let's see, ChatGPT will go ahead and will we'll give you some ideas for where to go away on your honeymoon. So here we go, we've got a list of ideas for the honeymoon. I can say generate ideas for a gift for my 10 year old daughter and ChatGPT will go ahead and give you those ideas. So we've got now a list of ideas. We can ask ChatGPT to fine tune those ideas. I can say make these ideas about sports for example and ChatGPT will go and 
regenerate those ideas based on sports. Here you can see it's starting to rewrite it and it's making it more about sports. So this is really crazy. I'm hoping you're starting to see some possibilities for this. Next, I want to show you how ChatGPT can help you craft thoughtful comments. And these comments can be on anything, YouTube videos, it can be LinkedIn posts or Facebook posts. For example, I can say, write me a comment on Facebook post with photos from a 21st birthday party. And here we go, ChatGPT has written it. Happy 21st birthdays. These photos show what a great time was had by all at the party, wishing you a lifetime of joy and adventures ahead. Not bad. Now I can say, write me a reply to this comment, okay? And ChatGPT will go ahead and write a reply to this comment. Now, guys, you can do this for YouTube videos. You can do this for Instagram posts, whatever it is. You can write both the comments as well as the responses to any comment. Next, I'm going to show you how ChatGPT can help you create stories. Now, these stories can be about anything. It can be something like, write me a story about two young Australian guys who went on a trip around the world and had an exciting adventure. And ChatGPT will go ahead and write you that story. So here you can see it's writing a story. The stories can be about anything. You can even ask ChatGPT to write you a bedtime story for a child. So if your daughter or your son has asked you for like the thousandth time to give them a bedtime story and you're out of ideas, which has happened to me, you can just go to ChatGPT and it'll write you a bedtime story. And again, you can change this any way you want. So if you want to make the story about the turtle, you can just say, make the story about a turtle. And ChatGPT will just rewrite this same story, but make it about a turtle named Timmy. Next, I'll show you how you can use ChatGPT to proofread and correct grammar. So I've given it a command to proofread this sentence in English and then I've written something in very broken English. And if we press enter, you will see that ChatGPT is now just going to correct this. And it's written, it's perfectly. I don't like hot weather. I very much enjoy cold weather and the full snow is good. Now, I didn't word that particular good, full of snow is good. So I guess this is not ideal, but you can see how ChatGPT can actually correct a lot of the errors and problems with any language, really. It's not just for English. If I want to write something in broken German, it'll correct it as well. For example, I've written a sentence that's not correct in German and now it's just going to correct the, uh, the, the, the word order in German. Instead of Ich nicht studiere Deutsch, it's going to say Ich studiere kein Deutsch. Next, I'll show you how you can use ChatGPT to summarize anything. You can take any piece of content. For example, I can say I can take this complete packing list for Mexico. I can just select all of this and I can ask ChatGPT to summarize it for me. So let's take all of this, copy it, and then I'm going to say summarize this to me in bullet points. And then I've pasted all of these text. And there you go. ChatGPT has gone ahead and just taken this whole ton of information and pulled out the most important points for me in bullet point format. Next, I'm gonna show you how to use ChatGPT to extract any information you want. Let's say we've got uh, any kind of text. We can copy all of this text and we can ask ChatGPT to extract the information from this text. So I'm just going to press copy and then I'm going to say extract names from this text and I'm going to paste this text and press enter and ChatGPT is now going to go ahead and extract all of the names from this text. Now you can specify uh, for it to extract names and dates or whatever it might be from a big block of text and it'll do it for you. So here we are, it's extracted all of the names that were mentioned in this passage of text. Believe it or not, ChatGPT can also write music for you. So you can give it any kind of music related commands. So I can give it a command, for example, to write me a guitar solo. And you can see it's now starting to write a simple guitar solo in the key of A minor. Now, if you want to change the key, you can do that. Just give it a clarifying command. I can say make it in the key of C sharp and it'll rewrite it to be in C sharp. Next, you can use ChatGPT to generate recipes for you. For example, I can say Say, write me a recipe for a healthy breakfast and it'll go ahead and generate that recipe for you. Here we go. Breakfast problem sorted. ChatGPT can also write poems pretty much about anything. For example, here we go. Write me a poem for a happy birthday card for my mom and it will generate a poem for happy birthday for a mother. Happy birthday, dear mom. You're simply the best, a shining example of love, care, and rest. With a heart of gold, you light up our days, guiding us gently in all our ways. I mean, this is pretty cool. ChatGPT is amazing for developers in a lot of different ways. Let's start with one thing that just really blew my mind. You can pretty much tell ChatGPT to code anything for you. As long as it's simple enough, it'll actually create the code for you and expect over the next few years, it'll become more and more powerful. So we can tell it to write me a simple solitaire game in Python. And it'll actually go ahead and create 
A simple solitaire game in Python for you, it will write all of the code for you so you can copy this code and use as your own. You can also ask ChatGPT for various HTML related questions, for example, how to underline text in HTML and it will write the response for you. Here is how you do it and you can also do it in CSS style. Here you go, here is the full guide on how to do this. Next, privacy policies and various other similar pages for your websites. I can ask ChatGPT, create me a privacy policy for my real estate agency in Australia and ChatGPT will go ahead and create a privacy policy page for you. Of course, ChatGPT is not a lawyer. I'm not a lawyer, so don't rely on this, but at least it can give you some wording to get started. There we go. You can see it's starting to write it. So once it finishes writing, you can sort of use this as the basis for your, for your policy. Here you go. It's writing it. And after it's done, you can use this page and this text as the basis for your policy. Next, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to create cover letters and resumes. Let's ask ChatGPT, write me a cover letter for a junior SEO specialist role at a newspaper, and it will go ahead and generate a cover letter for you. Here you go. We are ending up with a pretty good cover letter that's actually reading really, really well. And now magically, we can also create a draft of a resume to go ahead with this. Something like this. Write me a resume for this role, stating my experience with a project where I improved rankings of a website. So ChatGPT will already know that this is the role that we're talking about. So I'm going to click enter and it's going to create a resume, including the experience that you've asked for. So here we go. You can see ChatGPT is starting to write the beginning of the resume. So you can, of course, tweak it a little bit. Instead of saying at a new newspaper, you can put in the exact name of the newspaper you're applying for. You can see we've got demonstrated success in improving search engine rankings and driving traffic to websites, which is what we asked ChatGPT for. Okay, here we go. It's included in the experience, collaborated with the team to improve search engine rankings and drive traffic to the website, which is again what we asked for. And it's included that result, which we told it about, improved search engine rankings, rankings and increased website traffic by 40% and improved ROI for the client. And it's included this result, which we asked for, improved search engine rankings, increased website traffic, and so on. Very, very powerful, can save a lot of time if you need to tweak your resumes. ChatGPT is just insanely useful. And if you'd like to start using ChatGPT for your business, or if in general you're interested in learning more about how to start your own online business, then go to this link and download my free affiliate marketing guide. I've quit my financial job seven years ago and I've been making a full-time living online for the past seven years. In that guide, I'm teaching you exactly what I do to earn affiliate commissions from the products that I don't even have to create using 100% free traffic from Google and YouTube. So if you want to download this guide, just go to this link or click the links in the description below or in comments. And yes, there are some really powerful ways to make money with ChatGPT. And you should watch this video next. This video that I published recently shows you a step-by-step -step method for how to use the power of ChatGPT to earn money online passively. Thank you so much once again for watching. I'll see you in the next video.